You are watching TFI. Greetings. G2 curvature continuity is a term used within the non-uniform rational basis spline mathematical model. Of course it is. Who didn't know that? Who needs Wikipedia? But whilst I was looking through my YouTube comments, reminding myself why I've set up a Discord server through Patreon, I came across a good question from Nguyen underneath this guy, who can go on a fat one. Uh, he needs to be reminded to wipe his backside after he's taken a crap. Uh, but he said, what is the difference between a smooth G2 and a tangent fillet in the fillet feature? Now, I have, I think, briefly covered this in my 20 minute long everything you need to know about fillet videos, but it's worth covering in its own right. Uh, this applies to both Inventor and Fusion 360. The G2 curvature fillet is available in both Fusion 360 and Inventor. And also the analysis tool that I'm going to use is also available in Fusion 360. So I'm going to turn me off because you don't need to look at me. And we're going to jump into a fillet. And I'm going to drop a fillet on just any old edge like this one here. By default, when you place a fillet in Inventor and Fusion 360, it defaults to a tangent fillet, which is this little icon here. And when you click OK, it just looks like a fillet you're happy with it and in most cases in most areas of manufacturing that's fine you don't need the tangent to be any more smoother than it is by default as a g1 tangent fillet uh, that's i guess the mathematical model for a tangent fillet is g1 uh, whereas the other one is g2 but if we edit the fillet and then change it to a g2 and then click ok it kind of looks the same it still looks like a fillet what we have to do to see the difference between the two of them is inspect them very closely using the zebra or zebra if you're from the other side of the water analysis tool and you could do that by jumping into the view button here and then turning on this analysis button here or if you're in fusion 360 you can press s on the keyboard type in zebra and then activate the zebra analysis tool this is what we're looking at here it's this this blend here on the fillet the Zebra Analysis tool takes a look at all of the surfaces and gives you feedback as to how surfaces interact with each other. I'm pointing at the camera like you can see me, but I've turned it off. But it's yeah, it's giving you an indication of where surfaces are disconnected and where there's a lack of continuity between surfaces. So here you've got a an angled face, which is just a sharp angle against a flat face. There's no continuity between those surfaces. It's a sharp angle. So you can see the Zebra lines are completely disconnected, whereas here, the fillet is blended in with that edge and you can see the zebra lines flow and continue through uh, those two surfaces. So to see the difference between a zebra fillet and a tangent fillet, what we'll have to do is edit the fillet feature and then change this back to a tangent fillet and then click OK. And again, it's difficult to see any difference, but what you can do just so you can visually see with your own eyes is just do an undo. This will take it back to the G2 fillet, redo. That's the tangent fillet. And you can see, actually, when you're looking at it with the analysis tool on, there's a big difference between the two. And the difference is, with the tangent fillet, the surface of the fillet, so this edge here, the edge of the fillet is terminating at a tangent to this top face here. And it's coming out at a tangent. So it's almost like you were to draw a circle. And that's the top quadrant of the circle. That's the structure of the fillet. It's at a perfect tangent circular feature. Whereas the G2 fillet is not. It's not a circle. It's a complete, what should be in accordance to the NURBS mathematical model, a perfect blend out from that flat edge. So you've got this flat edge coming along here and then the tangent comes out absolutely perfectly smoothly and then it blends back around and then terminates perfectly smoothly with this edge here. So it's a different end and start solution uh, with the G2 fillet as it is with the tangent fillet. So that's what G2 is, mate. So it's present in fillets, but it's also present in other surface design tools. For example, one of them being Loft. So if we go into Inventor's Loft tool, I assume this will be the same with Fusion 360. Uh, we can loft a solid between this face and this face here. Right, and that's, uh, that's I guess, G0 probably. I'm not familiar with the NURBS mathematical model, but I'm assuming that's G0 of G1's tangent. This is just a harsh blend of a straight line going in with another straight line, which I guess when you look at it side on, it's a straight line there, you've got this harsh angle. But we can go to the conditions tab on the loft command and change the blend on this edge and this edge to be either tangent or G2. So you can see now that the loft feature is now creating us a shape, it's creating a body which has a G2 blend between that top edge and this new body feature. And then we can do the same 
with edge number two. And that's now given us a perfect smooth blend down there as it's following this opening surface and then it's blending it up into the termination which is also a G2 feature. So we can do that and then you get this perfect smooth G2 blend. It looks it looks really nice. Go into the view back into Zebra Analysis here and you can see exactly what's happening. These surfaces are perfectly blended. Quite artistic to look at. So the loft feature starts here and you can see there we've got a perfect smooth blend. So uh, yeah, it's not used all that much in you know, sort of heavy metal, hairy backside manufacturing areas, but product design, you know, aesthetic consumer product design. It's gonna be something useful in there. The car industry, automotive industry, G2 continuity services are used heavily within the automotive world. Yeah, it's not something that Inventor really urgently needed, but it's nice to have it there uh, as it is in Fusion 360. So there you go, mate, that's what G2 is in both fillets and lofts, applicable in Inventor and Fusion 360. Uh, if you enjoy this type of video and you want to support the channel so I can do more stuff like this, mate, and you want to go and chat with people who like this sort of stuff as well and want to talk about it outside of work, because that's, uh, that's what us nerds do, then you can sign up to the TFI Patreon uh, subscription service and get into my Discord server to talk with people and talk with me and put in suggestions for videos like this. So uh, I'll do it for this one, mate. Thank you very much. Toodles.